Day weekend. Hope you are doing well. Just wanted to give you uh, something brief to consider um, while you guys are at home over the weekend, uh, enjoying hopefully some family time, enjoying some time to hang out, uh, get a day off from school, day off from work. I uh, want to give you something to consider as we've been working through uh, this passage uh, in Matthew. We've been talking about marching off the map over the last few weeks. And um, first week we talked about being the light of the world and what that looks like and how that uh, it kind of changes the way we do things and it changes our goals and changes our perspectives. And um, last week via video, we talked about uh, the places that God sends us and where we can be an impact and where uh, God has put us in strategic places, whether that's school or work or home or uh, anywhere God you know, puts us. Uh, this week, we're going to focus on the last section of this little verse. Um, and we're going to read the whole thing again. So if you have your Bibles or if you've got an app out, um, please turn to Matthew chapter 5. Um, I've got my Bible right here. And uh, Matthew 5, so you're looking for the big number 5 or chapter 5. Um, and we're going to be in verses uh, 14, 15, and 16. That's where we've been the last three weeks. And this is our last week in this set of verses. Okay. So Jesus is talking to this group of people um, that have gathered and followed him around, and now he's giving this sermon. And he's got some important things to say, and he says this about us and the people gathered. He says, you are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, the lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. So over the last couple of weeks, uh, we've broken this down into three different sections. The first one we looked at, like I said, kind of where you're going and how you're getting there. Um, the second one is where God has put you and why that's important. And today, we're focusing on verse 16. So it's a little number 16. It says, in the same way. So Jesus is referring to basically what he just said. It just may be a little different path. Okay? It says, in the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Now, when Jesus says this, he's comparing it to being the city on the hill, being the light on the lampstand. Um, what he's saying is that, as people know who you are and as you figure out where uh, God has strategically placed you in those places, it's now time to do good things. It's now time to uh, be the person God wants you to be. So there's a intentionality on direction and where you're going. There's intentionality on the place that God has put you. And now there's this uh, focus on what you're doing. So, uh, this is really where the rubber meets the road because we can think about where God puts us. We can think about the direction we're headed, but really if it doesn't change how we live life, how we operate with people, then, I mean, the rest of this is pretty useless. So when Jesus says in the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see. All to see being uh, this notion that when people figure out that you something is different about you, it's not heaping praise on yourself. It's not trying to be the goody-goody. It's about pointing people to God and saying, the reason I do this and the reason that I'm different and the reason that I treat people different and the reason that I care about others and the reason that I want to live this life differently isn't because I believe I just need to be a good person. It's not because I you know, want to get to heaven. It's so that we can point people to God and to Jesus. It changes the focus on why we do what we do. So it's not so much about being a good person, not so much about just having our ticket to heaven. It's more so about uh, pointing people to God and saying, this is the reason why I'm different. This is the reason why uh, I do what I do. And so what I want you to do for this week, um, as we wrap this up, we can keep it short. It's Labor Day weekend, okay? So what we want to do um, this week is this. 
I want you, um, this Labor Day week, okay, so starting Tuesday when you head back to school, I want you to think about what good deeds, good deed, could be singular, God is calling you to do. What good deed is God prompting you? Um, I think if you if you take a second and think about it, there's probably something on your radar that you know that in the past you haven't done real well, and you know God wants you to do something differently, to do something about it, and maybe this is it. So maybe it's something at home. Maybe it's a conversation with mom and dad or grandma and grandpa or an aunt and uncle. Maybe it's a, a conversation at school with uh, the way you treat your teachers, uh, the way you talk with your classmates, the way you talk about your teachers with your classmates. Maybe you're, um, maybe it's uh, how you treat people at school um, instead of, you know, ignoring people or instead of just shying away and saying, no, I, I'm not going to talk to them. No one talks to them. Maybe Maybe this week's your week just to say, hey, I notice you. Um, I wouldn't probably say that. <laughs> um, but just saying hello. Um, maybe finding out their name. Um, maybe sitting with people, different people at lunch. It's going to get you out of your comfort zone. Um, that I will admit. It's not easy to do. So don't, don't think I'm just saying this is something super easy to do. Um, it's going to take some courage. It's going to take some perseverance, uh, but I know you've got it. That's the thing. I know that you've got this courage in you. I know that you've got this grit in you to be, you know, someone who's going to change the world. So um, don't lose sight of that. Okay. So one thing, you're going to think of one thing and you're going to do it. It's it, it, that, that's it. You're going to do it. Good deed. And instead of trying to do it to be a good person, you're going to do it to say, God, this is all about you. That's, that is our challenge this week as we're marching off the map as we're thinking about life differently. One good deed that points people to God and that you know God is calling you to do. Okay? That's it. Um, this is between you and God. You don't have to tell me. You don't, I mean, you can text me if you want. So just let me know, hey, I did it. Um, you don't have to tell me what it's about. You don't have to tell me any of the details. Um, this is just between you and God, okay? But we want you to focus on that this week. So we're going to pray, and we're going to be done, because it's Labor Day weekend, and uh, that's that. So let's pray, okay? It's cool? All right, let's pray. God, thank you for today. Thank you for a chance to read your word and think about you. Thank you for Labor Day weekend and a chance to have some time off. We pray, Lord, that you would guide our steps and that you would show us what good deeds you want us to do. Uh, not because we're earning anything, not because we want to be goody goodies, but because we want to point people to you and we want people to see Jesus through us. So uh, we pray that you would lead us in the right places, in the right direction to go, and that we would have the courage and the strength uh, to do as you've called us to, and to do uh, what you have put on our hearts. We give you all praise. We say thank you in Jesus' name. And everyone said, amen. So that's that. Have yourself a great, great week, weekend, and uh, we will touch base next time. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.